These lessons will guide you through the processes of recording and editing with audio. We will be looking at different recording devices and file formats. We will look at audio in a visual way, such as viewing the record levels and the waveform. We're using Audacity in these lessons because it's a free software and you can download it from the internet to your own computer. And it's really easy to use. However, the processes we will learn will also be similar and relevant if you're using any other audio editing software, such as Call Edit or Audition, etc. These lessons will give you a basic understanding of audio and are intended to get you started to record and edit your own interviews while introducing you to the concepts of file formats and quality. Before we start, it's important to take a look at some of the file types you may come across when working with audio. There are many audio file types, with the most popular being WAV or WAVE and MP3. The WAV format is the best quality to use as it is uncompressed meaning no information is lost when it is saved. However, being uncompressed, the file size is larger. The MP3 format is of lower quality because it is compressed, meaning information is lost when it is saved. Being compressed makes the file much smaller. This is why the MP3 format is used for music downloaded from the internet, where download speed is important. This difference in quality can be noticeable when listening to WAV or MP3 file types and because of this difference in quality it is essential that you are aware of what format will be recorded when recording your own sounds. So before recording audio with any digital recorder have a look at the record settings to make sure what file type will be recorded. Your decision to use a particular recorder or setting should be based on whether high quality or low file size is most important. I would always recommend recording at the highest quality to start with. If your digital recorder is able to record WAV files, then use that setting. Then once edited, save the audio at the lower quality MP3 format, if that is what you require. You can't add quality, but you can take it away. Most audio editing applications will open and edit WAV and MP3 files. Both WAV and MP3 file types can be edited with Audacity. And the exercise files we will use in the following lessons are WAV file format. When you record your own audio files, probably the most important thing to be aware of is the record levels. Some but not all recording devices will display the record levels on a screen while you record. If you can see the record levels, then you should take some time either before or during the recording to make sure the levels are good. What do I mean by record levels? Well, I have set up this H2 recorder to show you what I mean. As I speak, the levels go up and down, up for the loud parts, and down for the quiet parts. The loud parts need to reach near the top of the level, but they shouldn't go so far that they hit the end of the scale. In this case, the levels don't get close enough to the top of the scale, which means I have to adjust the record level. I can adjust the record level by pressing the record level buttons. So as I speak into the recorder again and watch the levels as I speak, I press the record level up or down until the level hits near the top of the scale. So why is record level important? Well actually it's vital. If the record levels are really low then the recording will be quiet. Okay you can always amplify the sound in an audio editing application but you will also be amplifying any background noises which will cause the audio to sound terrible. If the record levels are too high and hit the top of the scale, the loudest parts of the sound will be cut off. This will result in an odd or distorted sound. Either of these situations could mean that your recording is unusable and would need to be recorded again. 
so it's better to spend a little bit more time observing and adjusting the levels at the start. As we get to the following lessons about audio editing, you will start to see audio as a waveform. A waveform is a visual way of representing audio, with a collection of high peaks and low troughs. The peaks are the louder parts and the troughs are the quiet parts. Here is an example of a waveform. Remember when we were looking at the record levels going up and down in the previous section? Well, this waveform is the visual form of those levels going up and down. In this example, we can see that the record levels were too low at the beginning. Then they were too high in the middle. And finally, the levels were adjusted correctly and the levels were good at the end. Go to the next lesson to start learning about recording audio with a digital recorder.